Okay, let's jump right into this. First time playing it, so should be fun. We shall see. Should have good characters at least. So do I play as all of these people? It's crazy. Well, let's start. The Northerners will never forget Tyrion Lannister. How many episodes are there? This UI is also terrible. It's, it's really garbage. Six episodes? Wow, okay. So, if I can do an episode per night, <laughs> that'd be six days. No idea. Usually, getting one done in a day is, is a challenge. It's like three hours to do. I might not be able to get them done. One per day. Some might be longer. But that's all right. Let's start. Cutscene hype, I'm sure. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Sure. You'll see about that. For thousands of years, host Forrester have been loyal bannermen to host Stark. In the darkest reaches of wolf's wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the north has been ripped apart by war, and rival houses seek to claim Forester ironwood for themselves. The fate of House Forester hangs in the balance. Why is this no VO on this? The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Okay, I guess uh, straight with the gameplay then. Pick it up. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. It's only blood. Well, I guess I got to do the wiping action. That's interesting. That is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. Even if we're being honest. I will. You you'll see. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had Andy, you know. And him what? Capturing him! He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. So what Next really happened? Us, he caught Tyrion too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That skinny man here and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer? Aye. Well, I'd have handed it. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> <laughs> See? What do I tell you? Brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. Right, Good thanks. Job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup, the night we celebrate. So this is where it the starts. The Stark, the King in the North, the, the King, 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 King in the North. North. Tomorrow we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. 
Onward to Castle Rock! Aye. Death to the Lannisters! Aye. The North remembers. The North remembers. <laughs> Why would I say Got it. how Starks? Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. Uh, what do you with me, mean, my lord? My lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now. But I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? To honor this noble so house? Well, to bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forest. Well, I didn't have to wait very long for that. It's well deserved, it. Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. I won't let you down. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. Even if you die. <laughs> but for now, keep I won't it let you down. Us. We're celebrating tonight. Oh, keep it between us, so you're going to die and nobody's going to know. Yes, my lord. <laughs> now go. And find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Fine, but you owe me. Fine, but you owe me. Oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. If you're the squire, you don't outrank me because we're the same rank. <laughs> Except I'm not a squire anymore. Technically. Wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. Could be He's worse. A drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. <laughs> See, that's why you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in big shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Who doesn't love bacon? <laughs> but not by much. Who doesn't love bacon? <laughs> ah, pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine That's not how that works. What a waste of fucking time. You'll get there. Give it time. You'll get there. Or easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? It's right over there. The twins. Oh, this is the Red Wedding. Ah, of course it is. Yeah, so yeah, everyone's gonna die here, because that's what happens. Time. Except us, apparently. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Very generous, yeah. Fucking phrase. Nice night for Drink a wedding. Drink that. We all have their weapons. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Yeah, Don't they're... expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. Something is wrong. What? What's wrong? Something. Just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. We need to get back now. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. My Just take the fucking bite your senses already. are tingling. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Warn Lord Forrester. Save Bowen. 
Oh, let's war forester. He doesn't want to listen to me. Oh, he's dead. He won't remember that. Yeah, sorry, Bowen. You, I tried telling you, and he wouldn't listen. So yeah, gotta go for my lord. Maybe you're supposed to save him, but oh, okay. Forgot controls. I don't, I don't know controls. Dodge. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dodge. No, no gift for me. Thank you very much. Click and hold and drag. There we go. Ready, boys. Whoa. Shoot that one. Don't shoot me. Shield me. What? What? I, I did it! Ah, oh, I totally did it. What the heck, game? Velar Mogulis. Vel the house. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see if I can do it this time. Ready, boys! I, I like the key presses better, to be honest, than this. This is meant for Shoot controller. That one. What? I, I don't really- I, I don't get that control. I put it up. What? What? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I don't get the control. Do I have to keep- do I have to keep it up, I guess? Ready, boys! Shoot that oh. one! Why don't I get the friggin' control? For- I can Shoot dodge to the side. One. I need to switch the control. Is, do I really need to switch the controller for this? Because I guess I will. That is impossible with the friggin' mouse. Does it work with a controller? That is ridiculous. I don't even know if it works with the controller. Ready, boys! Shoot that one! Hold on a second. Can I even go to the menu? <sighs> what the heck is with the... That's not telling you anything. Run. I can't even do anything. It's a freaking cutscene. What the s what the heck is going on with this? Controls. It's only there is no controller support. Or do I have to exit the game? Ready, boys! Because I lift the shield up, so I don't know what. What am I missing? Do you have to click Shoot and hold? That one. Nope. How do they shoot me through the shield? Like, what, I'm putting the shield down as soon as I put it up. It makes no sense. I have to do it like five times. I need to, maybe I need to look it up how, to, how this is done because this. This is ridiculous. Shoot that one. Okay, well <laughs> apparently I have no idea how that's supposed to work. That is terrible. That is terrible.
Yeah, okay, so this is a common issue. No screen resolution, no control explanation. Arrow keys. Arrow keys? Okay, so I need to use... Seriously? Wow, that is that is awful. That is terrible. So... W should work? So yeah, I guess it's Ready, best boys. to use uh, key, key presses then. There we go. Got you. There we go. At least we're putting up a fight. Oh, that guy got ran over. Crawl forward to safety. I don't think anywhere is safe. QTs, gotta love them. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Or not. Horses. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Boom! Kick you in the face! Oh, he got ran over. No! He dies anyway! I chose poorly. He only got kicked, hit in the leg, but he got a horse on him, so... I can't lift up a horse. Got it. Did you find Roderick? Speak up, got it. The phrase slaughtered him. Not. The phrase. They they slaughtered him, my lord. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? Speak up, boy. I had to leave him. He wouldn't listen. I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Find a weapon. Quickly! He wouldn't listen to me. I told him, I warned him like... Like five times. Or <laughs> well, twice. <laughs> the sword is mine. Still time. Damn it. So nothing changed anyway. Seven hells. We have to keep moving. We have to keep moving, my lord. That never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the phrase says time's over. <gasps> Oh, he's... What? I thought I just got an arrow in the shoulder. Guard this with your life. Return well, the Iron Wrath where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I guess I got the sword. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. What the phrase you have to go. You're welcome. To the I'll do as you command, I'll do I guess. As you command, my lord. You have served me well. I know I can count on you. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. If only you Duncan. The house, I swear I will. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, only Duncan. Now go. 
Only tell Duncan something. I don't know why. Do for your house. Go! Kill those fucking foresters! We love the fray. Well, that did not really work that well. <laughs> Delayed them like two seconds, and I'm not really much ahead. Why am I holding the sword like that? The uh, pointy sword chair game. Iron from ice. Okay. Iron trees. Forester lands, the king's road. We have our trees, that's our strength. Iron wood. Do we have a director? I didn't know games had director. Art direction. <laughs> Okay, we have a pig. Why am I looking backwards? Wink, wink, wink. <laughs> Got some blood. Blood. How did I lose those other guys? Well, I guess they have armor on and I don't, so I probably could easily outrun them. It's a dead pig. There's a cart. Can I not look at the cart? Oh, I can look at this cart, not the other cart. That's father's car. Father has a cart? How can I tell? Do have his Lord name Bolton on it? Give us fucking titles for this. Freaking Boltons, uh, Bolt. Baby coming, but at least still have his bacon. Freaking Bolton, yeah, Bolton took over. <laughs> killing the pigs. Why are they killing them? What did the pigs ever do to them? Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. I'm supposed to be sneaking. Father, I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. The only person getting to fed to the you. pigs is you. I have a nice is sword. That's so. I have a. You can try if you like. And then we'll Valerian sword. The pigs. Valerian get steel. Off my land. This is Bolton land now. Boy. Not anymore. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. Not for long. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. I don't think so. Wow, is that all you have? No. I'll have that sword, boy. Yes, yeah, right through you. Ah, you'll have it. I. You'll have it. <laughs> or not? Okay. Wait, my attacks are worse than yours. Holy, <laughs> what? <laughs> Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Wow, that was pathetic. I thought his attacks were sad. Mine were even sadder. Oh, but hey, I know how to use that. Guess I don't have. Oh, axe. Axe to the face. That always works. Uh, axe him a question. <laughs> Oh, he's coming. Tackle. Wow, he was slow. <laughs> what the heck's with the frames? It's like... Oh, that's my leg! No, no you don't. No you don't. No you don't. No you don't. QE. There's still one guy left. E. Mercy. Please. I beg of you. I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. Only following orders. Okay, I'll show you mercy this time. But I'll kill you next time. Thank you. Just leave and never come back. Lord 
I feel will see you hang for this. That much I promise. <laughs> Father? Garrett! You survived! Your, your sister! Oh, she hid! Uh, not very well. Sorry. I tried to stop them. Okay, well that's good to know. I guess I need to bury two people. I'll kill the men who did this. Well, I killed one of them. One I gave mercy. It was definitely the... Whoever the heck that guy was that was the problem. Iron Wrath. My leg is probably not doing so good. I should probably bandage that up. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! I'm like the only one. Carrot! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. The yeah, Starks are all dead, though, pretty much. Thank you, Mister. There's a couple left. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Hills won't see it that way. It was justice. It was justice. They got what they deserved. But you have one guy mercy because he. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Wait, maggots oh, helper? For me, would you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oof. Well, he only a necrotic flash These thing. Dark good. days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Can avenge them. The future of this house is oh, in Lord Nathan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. We well, ran out of time because right. I was drinking. <laughs> uh, this might hurt a bit. It did click, but it didn't Hold register. this for me, will you? Mind you, he was doing his, like, speech anyway. Shouldn't have interrupted I that. understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. There's nothing we could have done. The Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. Roderick had already fallen. Yeah. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Although I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Uh, so the maggots are now just in my leg. Didn't sew it up or anything. What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, I could actually walk slow. I could walk fast. 
What? I'm so confused. Oh, let's just go up here. Lord's chair. <clears throat> Has a tree on it, because that's our thing. The Ironwood Grove. We can't actually see it. Just see the window. Oh, there it is. It's got some trees, some big trees. Ironwood trees. Oh, a tapestry. Uh, okay, so this is Asher. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Asher. Wait. Was he? Who the heck's Asher? Why am I not? Essos, yeah. He was with Daenerys, but I can't remember who the heck he is. Was he the guy? The leader of that mercenary band? Is that him? Talia and Ethan. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Mira. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. <laughs> She's probably in danger in King's Landing. Lady Forrester. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Rion. Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> Never easy being the fourth born son. Lord, Lord Forrester. Forrester. Now dead. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Gregor the Good? Okay. And Roderick? Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Uh, no more. Unfortunately, I guess I'm the best warrior mm. that we have. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine. Escort <laughs> Ingrid. Look, I'll show you. Look at me. I'm speedy. Look how speedy I am. Herbs. This might help. I'm just gonna steal them, sure. Bandages, steal those too, because I could always use bandages. I mean, I wish I had those before. And can I take a bucket? No, I can just touch the bucket. Poke. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. <laughs> they turn into flies. You know, double click as you get different things. There we go. Okay, I could talk to him, but I'm sure that's what. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Mm, seems alright for now until. as long as it doesn't get worse. Okay, I guess time to talk to him. Nothing else I can look at here, it seems. Show a sword to look at, talk to. Well, let's look at, look at him first. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. But you already saw me walk. Look at the sword. I need to learn how to it's use it. It's a good it. thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. It does. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of foresters. It's a Valerian steel blade. Okay, let's talk to you. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Who's the new Lord of the... Seriously, I already know it's Lord Ethan. Why do the White Hills hate us? Why do the White Hills hate the foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Mm -hmm. They want our ironwood? Everyone wants our ironwood. The White Hills want Forester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power. 
and proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. They've done it before? What? Uh, can I leave now? Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He was a hero. Whatever you can recall. It was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You no, were with it was Robert, an ambush. No? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He fought he, valiantly. He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. But this it was an ambush. So incredibly <laughs> difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? Uh, if you can remember. It would mean so much. Said he loved to the you, family. I guess. <laughs> said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. But I can't. I'm supposed to only you tell Duncan this sword. thing. This belongs with Ethan now. Yeah. He's the new lord of the house. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. They demand a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. He would always want that. We're the Doesn't ones who should be gets... demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed, they killed my, family. my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves We to do need to be smart, though. It was his family they killed. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark time. was smart. And look where that got him. No, he was not so, smart. He just to be walked done? into a trap and didn't realize it. <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. What? I'll accuse you of murder and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the self defense. Same, as any man would. I've done nothing wrong. Not in nothing their wrong. Eyes. <laughs> it's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. Where would I go? Well, well, where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. The wall? <laughs> You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Okay, Especially I'll go. Now, when the house is so vulnerable. 
I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it, then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Am I supposed to tell him something? Why, why didn't I get the chance to tell him something? Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Well, that's so Many good. of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock and. and I at Roderick's side, but. It was well deserved, Gareth. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. No, well, at the wall, I still gotta use I've been waiting some for the right moment fighting. to tell you. What? The North Grove must not be lost. What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said. The North Grove can never be lost. Oh, I fulfilled my Sorry. duty. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said only to tell you. He said tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? No. This is important, Garrett. I've told no one. I need no to one. know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. I mean, I don't gotta choose, but see how I can what I can do. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. That's our Remember, saying, I guess. You represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. Uh, I will serve with honor. Oh, the timing, though. I know you will. I was gonna go with the second option, but I'm like, ah, uh, third is better. Pride is not the best thing. Honor is better than pride. Garrett, wait! Sure, thank you. Something to remember you by, I guess. Be safe. It's not like the wall is going attacked by wildlings and or dragons and or ice dragons and the undead. So there's nothing to worry about, right? What's it? There's like, there's no uh, skittly muffs and... <laughs> like, what did Tyrion say? I can't remember it. Ethan? Ethan! Oh, I'm also playing as Ethan, okay. More Forrester, I guess, now. I couldn't find him. Could you? He's just behind a tree. He hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's Move just here. forgotten this is a game. I'm here. He's right beside okay. them. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. 
He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... and Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe. Oh, Ash or somebody else. I don't want to die familiar. either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. Gareth is smart. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He let me ride one of his pigs once. It was fun. He'll be fine. Gareth is smart. No one will tell me what Gareth did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight very well. <laughs> what? And he calls you a milksop. Sir Roiland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. He yeah, doesn't know me or... Oh, what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? <laughs> I don't know. But I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Yeah, that's true. Why didn't I know how to fight? <laughs> oh, because I was like fourth in line, so nobody taught me to fight? When we all used to play here. You, me, Roderick, Asher. Oh no, that's the other kid. Who's for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun, but then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious. The Lord in training. And he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that, please. Just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. Well, I might have to change. It's for you to decide for yourself. I may have to change. I'd rather have my brother than a lord. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. Yeah, because uh, my choice is now like. But determine so if we you're live the or new not. Lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. Yeah, that's Even not how it works. Be a good lord, a proper lord. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. <laughs> you are the lord. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Already? Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would okay, go with him. to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyways. Fine. If that's what's required of me. I need to do what I need Very well then. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrod. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrod is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord White. I can handle him. Well said, man. 
Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men rule over. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. Sure. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. Don't test me. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? Mm. You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. My apologies. apologies. Please forgive us. <laughs> forgive you? Not likely. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. <laughs> Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. We are all serve really House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. He's defending himself. Garrett was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the... How do you answer for your men? ...of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? He was sent to the wall. He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Answer me! Who's the one who did it? I did. I did. What? That was my justice <laughs> to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. This, this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for Thank coming. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house. Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. We're in the right. We're in the right, Lord Whitehill. Remember that. He will. <laughs>
Doesn't matter what you say to him, probably. Much. Your son did well, my lady. He kept his wits while Lord Whitehill lost his temper. A lesser man would have been rattled, but Ethan here held his ground. You were brave, my son, but you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. I found a box. Apparently an ironwood box. Tree. Ethan made this for me. Pocketing it or what? Hagar and brooch. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Wait, Elena's dead already? What? Is this Yunkish? Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. So, what was it? A Yunkish? I guess just coin. Look at the letter. Read. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you. And I look forward to the day you can. Dusty old tome. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. <laughs> That's not going to happen. It's got this weird, like, effect going on. It's, it's like paint strokes, like brush strokes or something. Look at the window, I guess. Let's just keep moving left or right to left. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Let's read the letter. Oh wait, that's probably the ah, uh, that's probably what advances. It troubles things. me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope. And can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. She can't help us. Murder is our own problems. Uh, is there anything else in this? Probably not. To be honest. Just a second, I'm searching for stuff. Oh, uh, maybe there's nothing else I can. Oh. You opened up. I was about to answer. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Uh, who or the heck are you? But you can come no, in. No, it's fine. Come in. Just changing up the bucket. Begging your pardon, milady, but you all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. Um, her handmaiden. I'm her handmaiden. 
That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. House Forrester? I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't <laughs> even know you're there. Well, of course you do. Good night, my lady. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. She has news? From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark, it raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her what? face was full no of traitor. Her as she said it. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's not only yet, an anyway. excuse <laughs> to torment you and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. No I problem. knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. I don't know what she wants to hear, though. Neither do you. See if the Queen Let's Regent see. is ready to receive us. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. Tyrion's there. You can do this. Oh, do I have to actually walk? I guess I do. Wait, why am I so much slower than her? Wow, I can't. I can't speed up. Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion, Your Grace. With your permission. Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Kneel, I guess. Wait, bow. I am honored, Your Grace. Yeah, I guess mm. bow. You don't kneel. Yet not honored enough to kneel, I see. House Forrester oh, is she is Regent. House loyal to the king. God damn it. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. I don't know I need to know. <laughs> Is your family loyal to the king? 
Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Our loyalty House never Forrester wavers. Forrester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, your grace. Which crown? I see. And yet. <laughs> For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. I agree, your grace. Yes, your grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege, Lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Clearly her loyalty <laughs> wavers quite a bit. If she has any loyalty at all... I thought that's what she wanted here, but... Is uh, your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege, Lord, Roos Bolton? Absolutely. He's the new he warden. He is the warden of the north, your grace. There, right, that's a better answer. He is. And I, the Queen Regent, and Tyrion, the Master of Coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while in fact saying nothing at all. <laughs> Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. Anything, yes, sir. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? Uh, I won't judge her. I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't I've you a the question. girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. <laughs> If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure Let she would... Let the girl answer the question. Be true Go to on. the king. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. Marjorie, remember that? She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. <laughs> I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I mean, there's probably really no winning there. I'll walk you out. <laughs> to be honest, kneeling this may come or whatever. As a surprise, but I met your father once at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then, he didn't trust Gruz Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. Mm -hmm. That certainly took courage, to so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated. 
although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I did it for Lady Marjorie. Hmm, yeah. rather odd, <laughs> if that's what she asked of you. But I'm sure she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We <laughs> must find our amusements where we can. Yeah, she true. threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. What are you Not suggesting? Her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to risk that? Yes, I am. Like I, I didn't it mention may be far it. It's too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. <laughs> Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. The North remembers. I need to take a break. It's only been an hour. If this ever pauses. <laughs> Mira, I was worried. Can How I actually it? pause it? I can actually pause. Okay, be back in a minute or so. See you soon. Okay, continuing on. Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It went well. Kind of well. Really? That's a relief. <laughs> Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's true. 
And over in Martel, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. You'll just get us in which I doubt trouble. Is Dornish for wife. You'll get us in trouble. We're just having some fun. <laughs> Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. No, <laughs> not good when it's that one. The Turk would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? No. He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Which is more than you can say for his mother. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. <laughs> well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion of <laughs> <laughs> What a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well? Just having fun? Sarah? We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am Queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Sarah's right. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. <laughs> your words to Cersei were brave. But I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I'll ask for her help. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. She meant so. Yeah, if you trust her... I mean, I'm just asking help with my family. Go on. My mother needs our help. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and mm -hmm. I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. Mm -hmm. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. I hope you understand. My mother feels it is urgent, my lady. She's unfamiliar with King's Landing and its politics. I hope you can understand that. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once.
Kings Road, Wolfswood. On my way to the wall. Okay, there goes my horse. Seven elves. Or should I say Duncan's horse? Oh, what? Oh, he's gonna flayed. Let's play a little game, shall we? Oh, it's Bruce Bolton. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. What am I supposed As to be doing my here? father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden of the north. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Shh. Listen. There. How'd they find you? Hear that? I know I heard something. Stay still. No, no reason to run. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Yeah, I gotta play it cool. <laughs> I guess not clicking on something would, would be the same. Well, that guy's dead. They didn't even put out their fire. That's, uh, that's a forest fire hazard. What, am I sneaking up on a guy that's dead? And flayed? He's not even upside down, though. That's wrong. He's right side up. Yeah, he's definitely flayed. Bloody hell. Why am I surprised by that? Everyone knows Boltons do that. They have, that's a freaking banner. How's <laughs> that surprising? Lord Ethan! As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. I want to be like him. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone, but took years if not decades to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others, the Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Hey, who the heck is that? I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! Lord Ethan! 
Why'd you Missed. kick him? Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us? You stole from us? I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. Together we'll survive. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan. You must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. I will decide. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Hmm. Sons of all show mercy. Oh, uh, yeah, at least this is not timed. To the wall, I guess. I sentence you to the wall where you will join the night's watch. No, please, my lord! My family, without me, they'll die! That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. It was my duty. Away on any lord. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Hmm. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then. To show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Tough choice. Uh, I can enter the tower. I look at my uh, brother. Talk to him. Careful. Keep at it, and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. 
All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget, but, oh, you know, don't you? Roderick could be proud. You honor Roderick with this. He was a strong one. He was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Someday, I'll have a real one. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he... Our enemy, a bad man. Everyone keeps talking about them. He's Enemies. not our enemy. No, he's not our enemy, but he did a bad thing. Then I wish you'd hurt him. People who do bad things need to be punished. Someone did something bad to Father and Roderick. Someone should hurt them even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Okay, sure, Ryan. I can just look at the gate. Portcullis. There's our banner. No idea how far I am along this. Sir Royland. Uh, Malcolm. And Duncan. And some other stuff. <sighs> okay, let's start with Meister again. I don't think they have anything new to say. Probably not. Oh, I guess maybe. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Not yet. No, I'm not ready just yet. No. Let oh, me know when you are, my lord. So I could ask for his opinion, but I'm gonna make my own opinion first. Let's go. Let's start here. Come on, come on, what did I say? Swords off, slash right, parry, again. Sword up, swing left, parry. Wrong. I didn't know so dogs can hold swords. A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. How are defenses? What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power. Especially when you're weak. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Uh, can I talk to him? Yes, my lord. I need a sentinel. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house. And everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. I haven't made my decision yet. I haven't made it yet. So but I appreciate tasty. your opinion. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. 
I trust your judgment, my lord. They didn't have. They didn't give me anything to go on, really. They gave me no good information. Ugh. You're all worthless and weak. Who's Malcolm? I don't know who Malcolm even is. Forgot already. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. You should. <laughs> I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. Why are you packing? Uncle, why are you packing? You're not going somewhere, are you? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. <laughs> I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. I will be gentle. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why are you so sure? I, Sir Royland is the man you want. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Mm, that's a good point. Because I, I could, like, he could still advise me. And I, a sentinel, Mother I don't know what does a sentinel do. Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I know you told me you'd have to change, but I suppose I hadn't believed you would. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. What would you do? What do you suggest I do? You must be strong. Decisive. You are the Lord of this house. Remember, you're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. Well, that's it. what I've been doing, <laughs> and you're criticizing me. I only wish you did too. You've always given me good advice. But I appreciate that. Uh, can't ask anything else. No, nope, apparently not. Okay. I mean, what was I? Not punish the guy at all. Then that one, like. Then everyone would desert because they're like, okay, we're not getting punished. At all. <laughs> Duncan. So maybe I will make Sir Royland. Or Royland. Is he a sir? Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Uh, what do sentinels do? Wait, no. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a Sir decision. Sir Royland worthy? What do you think of Sir Royland? Do you trust him? He's a fine warrior, my lord. But he's nowhere near ready to serve a sentinel. I do not trust him. He's likely to lose his temper and get us all killed, and at the worst possible time. Thank you, Duncan. 
I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Can I ask you more questions? No. What? What? Seriously? I I want to ask him more questions. <sighs> Why can't I talk to him more? Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. Is there anything else missing? But it doesn't look good. Has anything gone missing? No, doesn't look that way. Seems Eric was the only one to resort to thievery. But I'm still worried about our stores. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. <laughs> but there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. I trust you to make the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. If the house falls, they'd all be worse for it. I'll see to the arrangements, mm. my lord. Yeah, I guess we have to stock up. Ah, I wish I could talk to them more. I'd... So he doesn't trust him, he loses temper. An attack. Do I think he'll lose his temper? It's possible. But I wish I knew what he, their options were. Do it like you mean it. Ah, let's talk to Meister again. I don't know what My his Lord, thoughts are. Are you now ready to name your sentinel? Not really. I did not get any good information at all. What is your perspective? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life. Or How the much do we have? Love. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek, and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. I doubt his bloodlust can, though. There's quite a lot Lord, of it. Are you now ready to name your sentinel? Uh, sure. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Guess I am gonna go Royland. Hopefully, I don't regret it. But Duncan only like I asked him the wrong thing. I didn't choose like I didn't get good info info from him. I just he just talked bad against against them. So, so. I don't even know what a sentinel does to be honest. So. Seems like a you may sit. I map. believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Let me pause it. Yeah, it seems like the um, Master at Arms would be the best. Like, is it giving advice? It's I guess it's her second in command, but you want a stronger person for that, typically. So let's see that. Before I name my Sentinel, I must tell you. You're both worthy. Duncan, Royland. This house needs you both. But you can only choose exactly. one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. Sir Royland. Sir Royland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. Gods be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. Duncan will remember that. This. I hope he does. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We'll deal with him. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. 
Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's Wait, that's suicide. your advice? You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. We know we can't win. Here's the best armor. You're not the sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. Let Duncan is speak. small council, is it not? Lord Ethan should hear from all of us. Let Duncan speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say. Mm -hmm. Duncan? I'm sorry, Lord Ethan. You have chosen your sentinel. You should hear from him first. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Hmm. Thank the gods, Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. <laughs> I don't think it's that's going to help. It's not too late for the crown to intervene it's on It's not going to happen. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. What's your, Mother, your recommendation? What do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. It's probably actually the best Why advice that anyone's peace, given. <laughs> The wisdom of the citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough. Diplomacy, bargain, real fight. Uh. Okay. I don't know if bargaining will work though. Diplomacy. Diplomacy has kind of already failed. Let's see about that. Well, we could come to a bargain diplomatically. So Although Sir Ryland may object, I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. You'll remember it that. It would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. Exactly. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a. Reasonable, reasonable agreement. agreement. Exactly. That makes sense. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks No, we'd be ready for a fight. I didn't say not be ready. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into So what you do is you offer one hand a piece and the other one you stab them. <laughs> this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because they have you numbers. allowed it. No. Lord Ethan? They have numbers. Invite him into the Great Hall. That's not going to work on Ramsay. <laughs> I will meet him in the Great Hall. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? You'll lead us into ruin! I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son, but now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Wait, I didn't... I didn't say not offer it. I just said diplomatically come to a solution. <laughs> my lord, she might you have give named him. your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. I haven't been indecisive. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me 
You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. You want him to be lord? We can get. But won't he be lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said... Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. Smarter than that. I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No. But you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Send him to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. We'll, we'll see about that. Feeling this is coming to an end soon, this chapter. Soon, maybe. Red Keep, King's Landing. Uh, how much else can I, can we do? <laughs> right click the back it. We have a Tyrell family seal. Oh, examine. Oh, I could forge? Is that what I'm picking up? Stealing it? No, I don't want to steal it. Strange key. It's not my key, is it? Hmm. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Nera, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. Thanks for offering. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... It doesn't look like a good mood. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Uh, is everything alright? Are you alright, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? Yeah, whatever I can. There's nothing you can do, Mira. Mm. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. Mm. 
This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. I didn't take the key, I didn't take milady. the uh, seal. Begging your pardon, my lady. It's good to see you. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, my lady. I hope you saw. I was right before about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know I, I can help you if you'd like, and your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Okay then. That was strange. Where the bloody hell is Duncan? He should be here. Now fuck him if he's angry. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. Uh, don't do anything crazy. <laughs> Sir Royland, I trust you'll keep a level head. Of course, my lord. <laughs> but the bastard of Bolton can't be trusted to do the same. He doesn't have a level head. But we can't kill him. He has the best armor of all. Plot armor. <laughs> we know we can't kill him. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood. Is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is he? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the you, Warden Lord. of the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Welcome, Lord Ramsay. Lord Ramsay. Welcome to Ironrath. Aren't you the little lord? The Lord Whitehall told me you were young. <laughs> this. Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. No one can match our skill. Is that so? With the ironwood. Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, the pack. <laughs> Look at that. More forest. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Force him to focus on the business at hand. You want our fealty? Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. Okay, I kneel here. My lord. Ha! 
That wasn't so hard now, was it? It's the diplomatic thing to do right now. Here's the thing. I don't care <laughs> about your loyalty. He doesn't even care about it, though. The Crown, however, <laughs> wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. Uh, you you're, needn't worry. You're our father, your father worry? will have what he needs. There we go, That's your father. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One White Hill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet your man lived. He was, he was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit... Of course you have, because, yeah, you always will. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them... They'll ruin the forests. Now. It can't be that difficult. The White Hills had Ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Hence the name, of course. Mm -hmm. They know nothing of how to cultivate the forest. Look at their sigil, my lord. A barren hill. <laughs> That's a good point. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. <laughs> we'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace, and make sure there's no more trouble. That's it, yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna happen no matter what. I, I couldn't say anything that will actually made sense there, so... You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. The seven hells he will. That's... Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Roiland, don't. I said for him to keep his head. <laughs> Look at this little forester. Oh no, that's not good. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twin. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We get along well. Take me instead. My lord, if you want a hostage, take me. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? Oh, oh, I guess I wasn't lord for very long. <laughs> but I don't want brave lord. Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! My lord! Oh, no. Even though you did bend the knee. 
I think we've come to an understanding. I certainly feel better about all this. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the beast so quickly. Don't think there's anything coming back from that one. On yourself. Mama! Stop! Don't let them take no. me! You will not take Stop him! Stop them! Please, Ryan! Please, let me go! Ryan! Do something! Ethan? Oh, my son. I don't know if there's a better way of doing that one. I knew somebody was going to die there. Story has begun next time on Game of Your or Game of <laughs> Game of Thrones. Game getting stabbed in the neck. Pointing, pointing to chairs. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? You are offline. Okay. I don't think I'm offline. Pretty sure I'm not offline. But I think their servers are probably down. <laughs> That's where I'd usually give you the percentages, but apparently not this time. Why is... There's no credit type. Credit type goes to the end of the game. It's too early for credit type. Okay, so yeah. Apparently my account... What, I didn't sign in? Seriously? Okay, I have to sign... I thought I was supposed to automatically sign me in. Codex. Gregor. Roderick. Ash or so. He's the rebellious one. He fell in love with Gwyn Whitehill? So he got exiled because of that. Ethan's not dead. He's third born. We're in cold blood by Ramsey Snow. I guess maybe he dies no matter what. They remember it, but for now, for very long. So Garrett Tuttle, squire to Lord Forrester. Yeah, we know who he is. He's at the wall. Duncan was d is gone. He wasn't there when that happened. He has a temper and his expertise. Meister's my okay. I like how they all have a backstory. That's crazy. Malcolm, yeah, who the heck's Lady Forrester's brother? Okay, that's why his uncle. That makes sense. The black sheep of the Branfield family. It's like a hedge knight. So him and his sister are the only ones that survived when their house fell.
this is like okay. Iron Wrath. It's a fortress surrounded by towering trees. Around Chester home, fifteen hundred years ago by Cedric Forrester. And triplet Sons. It's a testament of strength and endurance of Ironwood itself. When one visitor is called Iron Wrath, the most striking keep in the north. Even Ned Stark was said to be envious. Iron Wrath sits on the edge of a large ironwood forest in Westeros, which has proven to be a strategic advantage for the house. Maybe one day I'll read all these. Oh, he was family was wiped out by Balan Greyjoy's rebellion. He was okay. Came to play a, a crucial role against Pike that ended the war. He was awarded a knighthood by King Robert. And he was. Yeah, Master at Arms. So Duncan's just like a man managerial type person. Yeah, so I named Duncan as Castellan. Tuttle. So raised on <laughs> stories of heroism. I have no idea who those people are. He found his family murdered and took vengeance and then he went to the wall. So yeah, we're gonna see him at the wall, I'm sure. Understand why everyone left, and yeah, he's seen a lot of bad things happen. Yeah, so they're twins, Talia. She has a lovely singing voice. Though the tunes have all been sad since her twin brother's murder. So he wasn't a natural warrior, but he found himself drawn to pursuits of the mind, particularly music and books. He bore a great love for towering trees of Iron Wrath, love that he shared with his twin sister Talia. He was just a boy when House Forrester joined the War of the Five Kings, but by war's end he had been thrust into a world he wasn't prepared for. Sadly his lordship did not last long, Ethan was murdered in cold blood by Ramsay Snow. Near Forrester, Lady Forrester, wanting to her eldest daughter to learn the ways of the southern court, and Tremira to serve as handmaiden to Marjorie Tyrell. To Mira's great surprise, she enjoyed attending on Marjorie at Highgarden and followed her to King's Landing with enthusiasm. Life in the capital has not been easy for Mira, as the straightforward northern ways are often at odds with the subtleties of court life. She is more guile than she realizes. We already read about Asher. Roderick. As the eldest son, trained from an early age to shoulder the burdens of leadership and truth, he was built for the role, strong, charismatic, formidable on the battlefield. When Rob Stark called his banners to war, Lord Forrester asked Roderick to stay behind and protect Ironrath, but Roderick would have none of it. Instead, he rode off to the father's side to lead the Forrester cavalry with valor that his name came to be feared amongst the ranks of Lannister soldiers. Roderick fell in battle in the Red Wedding and is presumed dead. Maybe he's not dead. Cause he only had the four horse fall on him and get stabbed in the leg. <laughs> Lady Elisa Forrester. Elisa Forrester was born to the House Branfield, a minor southern house that was destroyed when the Targaryen dynasty fell. She had been married to Gregor for many years when Robert's rebellion signaled her family's demise. Yet she never, nevertheless felt conflicted between her father's loyalties and her husband's. In time, Elisa came to feel that Ironrath was her true home. She embraced her role as Forrester's matriarch. She silently sworn that she'll never see her family destroyed again. Uh, maybe, maybe not completely. But 
a good amount of destruction for sure. Gregor, Lord of the Ironwrath, uh, Bannerman of House Stark. As a youth, he famously arm wrestled Galbert Glover for the privilege of becoming the man's squire. Glover later joked that he would gladly lose the match all over again. Gregor married Elisa Branfield, daughter of Southern Targaryen loyalists, before Robert Baratheon seized the Iron Throne. Gregor ascended to lordship after his father died at Trident and led House Forrester for 16 years until he slain of the twins. Okay, so that's uh, that's that. This menu still sucks. That's a codex. That's gonna be it for tonight. So have a good night, good day, whatever is for you, and see you tomorrow, which will be next time, same time, same place.